Motorcycle Dress Magazine here with Jane Rossi, our winner of the Collegiate Club Race. Can you tell me a little bit about how that went down? Yeah, um, it started out with a strong first lap. There were I think, three or four of us that were all hidden together, and then I got a break on the climb on the first one, and then um, on the downhill uh, uphill chicanes coming up to the rock stairs, I fumbled and bent my derailleur and uh, did it twice <laughs> throughout the race. And so I thought I lost it a few times, but um, it was a strong fight and uh, I was able to pull away. You bent your derailleur, did you end up changing? I did change. Well, I, um, I'm also having a tire pressure issue today, so I burped both my tires on the first bike and was feeling super slow. Uh, that also got in my head because I thought maybe I was just super tired, um, but then I got on the new bike and I started going fast again, so that was good. Running tubeless. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. I cracked my uh, tubular rim at MBX. Oh, jeez. Sounds like a, a frequent activity for a lot of people that race that course. <laughs> so you said that you thought you lost it a lot of times. What else was going on in the, in the course? Um, you know, it was it, it was a lot different than pre-riding yesterday. It was uh, Everything was pretty rideable, so it was just, you know, recover, recovering when you could and um, staying really smooth. You aren't going to gain much time on the downhills. So um, really just going strong to the climbs and trying to stay consistent. Mitigating risk on the downhill. For sure, yeah. That was definitely a factor in today's race. Did you pit for any reason other than to, to repair damage? Um, no, it was just uh, almost everything that could go wrong on the bikes were going wrong today. So uh, my, uh, my pit were super valuable today. When Number 10, without them. Melody Beal, and that's going to be your third season. And was it the, you have the two of the same bike or did you have something that was different in the pit? Um, nope, same, same, same deal, both bikes. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> So, you're also wearing number 13. I am. That was probably what caused this, now that you say that. I didn't even think of that. And you're wearing it right side up. I am. You know, I think that was a, a crucial factor in today's race. You still ended up winning, though. Yeah, it was, it was a, a huge deal for me. This is my last year, and um, uh, Rizzi Cycling has been a, a, a great team, and I'm happy to bring it home for them. How does uh, collegiate training work? Do you train as a team, or do you work individually? Um, Sometimes our teams are big and sometimes they're small. This year it was pretty small, so I've been training individually. Um, I have a great, the, the Rhode Island cycle cross network is awesome. We have some great trails, so just ride with friends mostly. Not, uh, um, didn't ride at all last week because it was big finals, so anyway. keep that in mind that all of us are in the same boat. We all just finished finals, trails, we're out here doing the best we can. <laughs> and we're asking everybody this week, how did you get into cyclocross? I got into cyclocross because I went to RISD and they had a cyclocross team and I was a speed racer and I, um, I, I was you know, doing a lot of time in school and needed some outlet to uh, get exercise. So you just signed up? Just signed up for the team. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.